Hello everybody, AJ Ryzik here. Today we're taking a look at Manjaro Cinnamon version 0.8.11. This is a 64-bit version. Uh, and the Cinnamon version is one of the uh, community developed, community supported versions. It's not one of the, you know, quote unquote official versions, uh, which are uh, XFCE, the KDE version, uh, what else? Uh, oh, and the open box version. Uh, and then, of course, you can also get uh, what's commonly called the net version, which is just the Manjaro core, and then you can install whatever desktop uh, environment you want on top of it. Um, and then, of course, there's there's a bunch of community uh, community supported versions. And actually, let me go and I will pull up the uh, Manjaro website here just so we can take a look here um, and actually their their home page is in the process of being redesigned I believe um, what it was it maybe about a month ago their their home page got hacked and I think it crashed so they went to the, to their backup page and uh, so we don't see a whole lot of uh, fancy graphics and all that for uh, uh, for right now and but as you can see you know their home page is in the process of being redesigned um, and they're also doing a server upgrade and, and some other stuff along there along those lines but anyway while uh, you know while we're here I'll just show you um, if you go to the Manjaro home page you can go to download click on that if you want the standard releases you can click there Click on the releases 0811, and so yeah, there you got the XFCE, the Net install KDE. Hmm, I thought OpenBox was one of the uh, was one of the standards, but I guess it's not. I've been wrong before. On rare occasions, it does happen. Um, although it could be that OpenBox just hadn't been updated to 11 yet. Let's see. Uh, I'm not seeing it. Okay. Well, anyway. So anyway, if you want the standard releases, that's where you go. If you click on the community, that's where you'll find all the community versions. You got LXDE, Enlightenment, Mate, Fluebox. Ah, okay. Openbox is a community supported one. I thought it was a uh, one of the official releases, but uh like I said, apparently I'm wrong on that one. Of course, Cinnamon, which we're looking at today, Peck Window Manager, which I've reviewed in the past. I haven't reviewed um, 8.11, but Peck Window Manager, if I was going to use a window manager, that is one I would probably use. Very nice, uh, very nice window manager. Um, LXQT, and I will soon be reviewing GNOME. I'm so glad that they, uh, that the um, community developers did a uh, an update of the uh, uh, Manjaro GNOME. Uh, I had looked at it, or actually I ran it for a while, and um, <clears throat> when I had to replace my laptop not too long ago, uh, I went to go and install uh, Manjaro GNOME, and just it would not install on that laptop. So. Um, and that it it hadn't been uh, updated in like a year or so, so I'm wondering if uh, you know there was something that just wasn't compatible with the new laptop. But anyway, we'll give it another go once uh, um, in the next few days or so, and uh, hopefully I will soon be doing a review of uh, uh, Manjaro GNOME. So anyway, if you want to go and download it, yeah, that's where you go. Obviously, you could just go to SourceForge if you wanted to and do a search, but uh, um, you know, I just go to the Manjaro homepage and uh, follow the links from there. And I'll give you, I'll leave uh, down in the show description. I'll uh, I'll leave um, links for you. Um, and if you're new to Manjaro, you know, here you can find links to their wiki, which is pretty good. Um, very nice forum. The forum is very active, so if you got a question, uh, you can probably find the answer just by doing a little searching around on the forum. And 
you know, if you don't find the answer for what you're looking for, throw your question up there. Um, the few times that I have had questions, it's been answered really, really quick. So anyway, let's close this up and we will get to looking at this distribution. So what you're seeing here is, um, for the most part, bone stock, Manjaro cinnamon. Uh, the only thing that I have done, I added my screen recorder, which I use simple screen recorder, and then GUVC view, which is what you see down here, which is how you're, you know, you're viewing me while I'm doing this casting. Uh, and I have noticed that I, and you might have noticed as I've been doing this video, there is a little bit of screen tearing in um, the uh, down in the viewer. Um, it, you know, it's not quite behaving the way it should. I, I you know, I don't know if it's uh, if it's just that that uh, that this viewer isn't playing nice with uh, with Manjaro or what what the deal is. I've I, I've been playing around with this distribution for a while now, so I really haven't noticed any issues other than in the viewer here uh, with with that issue. So um, hopefully that is, like I said, just an issue with the viewer, not with the distribution. Um, one of the things I like about Manjaro is you get this little welcome screen right here. Uh, you know, it gives you uh, gives you quick links to you know the project support forums, documentation, all that kind of stuff, as well as you know all their various social media links. So that's nice having um, you know having having all of these links uh, pop up at the beginning. And if you don't want them to show up at startup, you can just deselect it right here, close it up. It'll be out of the way, but you can't always go and find it. It's it'll be in your menu. And then um, another pretty nice thing that uh, that you, that we've got over here, right on the desktop, you've got links to a beginner's guide, and then also notes on uh, the cinnamon release. So uh, you know, really like that. You know, they're they're really striving for making it user friendly for people that are new to the distribution. All right. Now, one of the nice things that, uh, well, let me go and pull this open here. Uh, we'll go to our system. Just pull open the system settings. And come down here to system info. And as you see, we're running Cinnamon version 2.4-5. Now, if you haven't used Cinnamon in the past, or if you haven't used the 2.4 series, I've got to say they've done a lot of work here for, um, I guess you could say, cleaning things up and making it more organized. And, and by that I mean, let me go back to the system settings, the, the categorization of all your settings here in system settings, it makes much more sense now. Um, there's more of a unified look to everything. Um, you know the I, I think the kind of the take home on it is that cinnamon has gotten to the point where now it there it's not as much about adding new features as it is refinement um, it, it's really getting to be a good desktop you know in the past it it seemed like especially before the um, for the cinnamon 2.0 uh, that cinnamon was just kind of cobbled together, whereas now it's really taking on a unified look. It, you know, everything is working much better. It's much smoother. If you are um, are coming from older versions of cinnamon, um, memory use is is down, not a huge amount, but but uh, enough for it to be significant, um, while still you know doing everything that the desktop environment should be doing uh, so a couple thumbs up on that one um, as as before you know you have applets that you can add to add more functionality to um, your panels you can add panels um, 
and as you can see there's you know there's there's getting to be quite a good list of applets there and then of course you can always go to you know click here which is available applets and download more applets uh, and you know set up your panels as as you know however you like to set them up Cinnamon has probably one of the best menus out there when it comes to Linux distributions. Um, probably the only one that I think is better is the one uh, that that Linux Mint uses with Mate. Um, but Cinnamon, you know, Cinnamon one very nice as well, um, and they've got our menu here set up so that if you hit the, your little window key. Um, or super user key depending on what you like to call it just hit that and it pulls your your menu open you've got uh, some some quick links right there for you know go to your go to your web browser uh, go to the system settings software updates um, Manjaro settings um, power those sort of things and then you've got a categorized menus uh, but if you know the pro name of the program that you are looking for, I find it just just as easy to use the search function. So you know you could just, for example, I hit the uh, the window key, and if I was going to do an Office application, let's do Libre Office, and it pulls the Libre Office applications up. Um, for me, when I'm on Cinnamon, that's that's kind of the way I roll. I, I roll, um, just because I've, I'm very much a keyboard person, and uh, you know I don't like going back and forth from the mouse and to the keyboard and back and forth and back and forth if I can possibly avoid it. So, for me, I like that. You know, hit the window key, type in what you're looking for, click enter, boom, you're on your way. All right, let's get this started. We will start with accessories. We got seven zip for for our zipping and and unzipping, um, archive manager, disk manager, HP device manager. Medit is our um, uh, text editor. Nemo for our files. Uh, Nemo really love Nemo for file manager. Uh, it's a basically a fork of the old Nautilus and returns um, oh here let me just pull it up you get back a lot of the functionality that you lost in um, in uh, the newer versions of Nautilus or files that is it is now called uh, like if you click here on view you know you can see you got lots of menus here, uh, menu options there We've got some editing uh, options and of course my personal favorite feature extra pain so you got a dual pain mode to me that is you know just so you know the ultimate in practicality for moving files around you can get rid of or keep your your, uh, your little address bar right there um, you can change how you like the uh, how you like everything viewed you know do you want a list like that do you want um, icon view something like that whatever works for you so very nice file manager so anyway uh, and Zim desktop wiki if you're not familiar with it let me click it and open it up and it's very nice um, a lot of people use it for a note taping taking application but um, it can be used more than that it does everything in sort of a wiki style and uh, and I mean really there's there's not enough time in this review to go through it all maybe I'll do a uh, uh, you know a complete review on this on this one right here because it is a nice piece of software um, and like I said, to call it just a note-taking application is kind of short-changing it because there's so much more you can do with it. So anyway, that finishes up the accessories. 
graphics, we've got our uh, PDF viewer, GIMP, uh, Shotwell, UNOR, um, Firefox is still our uh, our browser, hex chat for IRC chat, Pigeon Internet uh, Messenger, and then Thunderbird for email. Under Office, uh, we got. It looks like they didn't put the complete LibreOffice suite in there. That's one that uh, I don't know. It's kind of a mixed bag, I guess. Personally, if you're gonna, uh, my opinion is if you're gonna install LibreOffice, do the whole suite. But it looks like they just put Calc and Writer in. Let me check here. I don't know. They got all. It looks like it's all there. They just um, the others just aren't showing up for whatever reason in the uh, in the menu. Because there are quite a few di distributions that do that. They'll only install maybe the writer and calc, and you know, if you're going to install it, why not install the whole thing? Okay, so anyway, uh, we're okay. Uh, a variety of QT um, design applications under programming uh, and sound. And I have never been able to uh, to pronounce this music player, so what a what a what a what a what a da yeah whatever however you pronounce that and uh you know it's a pretty decent music player i just can't pronounce it of course like i said i added guvc view and um down here the simple screen recorder i added those for doing my screencasting uh pulse audio volume control and i'm happy to see using vlc media player um that is probably the most versatile media player out there. Let's see down here administration we've got our adding and removing software, deconf editor, gparted, iso usb, um, there's a, the greeter settings, uh, print manager, there's the welcome screen, print settings, software update, system monitor, uh, terminal, I think that's what Terminator is. Yeah, that's our terminal. Uh, and users and groups preferences. Of course, that's all of our settings and, and whatnot, effects, um, display, all that kind of stuff. Hot corners. And most of this stuff can also be accessed from just system settings, uh, but it does show up in the in the preferences on the menu. Um, and they've added our places and recent files. Um, usually, I'm the kind of person I just go right to the file manager. But I mean, it does give you some some quick linking to documents, music, pictures, videos, all that kind of stuff. All right. So, let's see if I can find. Yeah, there we go. Manjaro Setting Manager. This is one thing that it's not not really a problem, but I'd like to see if there were you know, we've got your system settings and then also this Manjaro setting manager, which it would be nice if they could all be combined into just a settings manager, but of course I realize that you know, I don't know, maybe that's not possible because of the, the cinnamon versus the Manjaro thing, but but anyway, for the Manjaro settings, the main thing I come here for is kernel. As you can see, right now we're running 3.16.7.3.1. That's a lot of dots. But anyway, that's the one that uh, we're running right now. Uh, but as you can see, all these different kernels that can be installed. I wish more distributions would set something like this up so to make it easy for installing the new kernels because I mean like you know you can see you just 
say this 318 click install do you really want to install this yes and let it do its thing boom um, after it gets done installing that you'll have to go and reboot your system to to boot into the new kernel but that's it it's so easy to do um, you know and and for those of you that have gone and installed uh, updated kernels on Ubuntu and some other distributions you know what I'm talking about uh, it, it's you know it's not hard to do but it is time consuming and you really got to pay attention to details because you could royally screw up your system if you don't do it right all right um, as far as appearance goes you know I like I said earlier it looks a lot like the XFCE distribution um, if we go and right click here and take a look at uh, let's see where is it uh, change desktop, desktop background there's a couple of different uh, wallpapers that we could go to um, not a huge selection but you know I think I'll I'll just stick with what we got uh, what, what we had or you can go to this default cinnamon there's some more there Or you can go to that default gnome, uh, the Etiwata, I guess is how you pronounce it. But personally, of all those, I, I think I like this one the best anyway. Um, and you know, they have, and I think this is pretty consistent with the... Uh, all of the the 811 series is that they've gone to this numic style uh, flat icon um, you know I know that is the trend right now and that's pretty popular right now it's not an icon set that I'm all too fond of um, but you know changing out icons that's you know such a simple thing to do uh, and there are you know there's tons available uh, via either the Manjaro repositories or the AUR um, so you know changing that's not a not a big deal like I said that that's you know one of those personal preference things it's you know what uh, what looks good to one person is not gonna look good to another well I think about that about finishes up this review um, I know it's not as long as some of my other reviews but uh, you know everything seems to be working well with the exception of you know my little screen viewer there um, I haven't had any crashes or glitches or anything like that no problems with setup um, you know everything's just working the way it should so uh, there's nothing to complain about nothing going wrong or anything like that um, you know the updates they've they've been nice but there's not uh, nothing some not something that's huge and significant so uh, you know there wasn't a whole lot to report on there but that being said this is a very nice solid distribution uh, if you like cinnamon especially you know if you prefer that over uh, over say the XFCE you know give this distribution a try and uh, you know see if that works out better for you I mean you know functionality wise um, you know it's it's equivalent to the XFCE version but uh, with cinnamon it is a little bit heavier desktop um, as far as RAM usage not much um, the new uh, you know the new 24 series uh, much better on memory uses so you're you're not using a ton of memory to run this bad boy um, and in exchange for that you do get some nice an uh, desktop animations and that sort of thing so you know it's kind of a trade-off but functionality wise this is a great distribution but uh, that being said that about finishes this review up as I said uh, I'm going to have uh, the Manjaro GNOME review coming up pretty soon 
Uh, also looking at Corora. If you're not familiar with Corora, it is based on uh, Fedora. Um, the, the new versions of Corora are out. They're based on Fedora 21. So since I just reviewed Fedora not too long ago, I figure uh, let's compare it to Corora, see what they've changed up and, and whatnot. And, you know, maybe I'll like it better than Fedora or, or maybe not. Uh, we'll just have to see how that works out. But anyway, we've got that coming up. Uh, I've got some more gaming Linux gaming reviews. Um, some of them are open source. Some of them are uh, uh, games from Steam. And... Um, all kinds of stuff coming down the pike. A few software reviews too. So be sure to subscribe so you can keep getting this great stuff. And uh, give us a big old thumbs up, thumbs down. Let us know what you think. And uh, I'll see you on the next video.